Hello everyone, welcome to Softeed. Here you can see this is the general approach for any web application. Web application that contains some client side technology, some server side technology, and some databases to store some data. Here in this particular video series, I am going to use Angular as the client side language and Java as the server side language. Java is not enough for the web configuration that's why i'm going to use spring framework okay uh, again configuring the web mvc from the scratch it will take some time so i'm going to use spring boot which will give us the uh, give us the application with the predefined configuration so that we can develop our application in a faster way so i'm going to use spring boot and inside Spring Boot, I am going to use Spring Data JPA, which will communicate with the database to fetch and to send the data to the database. Okay. The interesting part is how can this client side or the server side application communicate with vice versa? Okay. Here you can see my server side application is running on port 8080 on the same localhost. Okay. My server side application is running on port 8080 and the client side application is running on port 4200. How these two application, the client side application and the server side application communicate with each other. Okay. What I will do, I will define one proxy config JSON file in that, in that I will take I okay, will set a variable app inside this app variable what I will do I will define this URL means the server side's URL I will put here okay in our angular application whenever I am going to hit the URL like app.teams at that time what happens angular's HTTP or HTTP client sees this app Okay, this is already configured so I need to redirect to localhost 8080 at that time what happens this app will forward this request to proxy config.json this proxy config.json will forward this request to localhost 8080 and gets back the data it is needed at that time what will be our URL in the client application it is like localhost 4200 slash teams whenever this url is hit we are calling this url that is app slash teams this app slash teams will forward the request to proxy config.json file where we have written the idea about the localhost 8080 means about the server side application and from here our flow goes from client side application to server side application and inside spring boot application we have configured all the routes depending on the route it returns data back to the client this is how exactly server side and client side application will communicate with each other particularly in angular okay this is all about the configuration this is all about the process flow this is all about the communication between the client side and the server side application we are going to see this configuration in upcoming videos first let us build the server side application then we will move towards the client side application if you like my videos please share it and show us your support by subscribing to my channel Thanks on being bored. Thank you again.